and rise. When these old souls come back now, people got other people so fucked up, so twisted, that they don't realize that everybody ain't the same. Right? So, a person get comfortable talking crazy to people and thinking that everywhere they go, they can just say what they want to anybody with no consequence. They coming. <clears throat> you just ain't got to them yet. You might get away for a long time. What Johnny Cash say? You can run on for a long time. You can run on for a long time. Sooner or later, going to cut you down. Sooner or later, going to cut you down. Y'all can't, this is the wrong era in time to assume everybody the same. Everything look human, not human. Everything that look like us ain't us. All skin folk ain't kin folk. But it's deeper than that. Because everybody that look different they ain't our enemy. Because no matter how you look, we can all hit the same frequency. And it's a heart frequency which is rooted and founded in love. And if y'all don't get that fact, it don't even matter. Now, I ain't no lovey-dovey, cuddly-cuddly motherfucker. They not going to be here. It ain't personal. Once you find out how your enemy move, you weed them some bitches out. You make them expose themselves. You put them out, and <clears throat> you let the people get them off the land. You get them off the land by knowing who they is. A fraud, one thing about them is they can't live with they self when they can't defraud other people. Right? So when they can't tell you what they want to tell you because you got motherfuckers like me that's going to tell you that's a goddamn lie. That shit ain't true. I don't know where they got it from. But this is where you find the real shit at. Right? So that put all these motherfuckers knuckles to the ground. When the real leader gone, anybody can feel the position as long as he looked apart. When the real leader come, they all got to take a back seat and the motherfuckers know it. And leadership is as leadership does. It's what you can see into the future. You got to know how to operate like that board game without hitting the motherfucking buzzer. That means you got to be surgically precise with your precise moves. And the more precise you is, as Sun Tzu said, the greatest victory is the victory without combat. That means that you beat your enemy mentally first. Because the mental victory precedes the physical victory. So if you can defeat him in the mind, you done already defeated him before the battlefield ever even come into play. Now all you got to do is take it a step further and eliminate the battlefield from the equation. It's a battlefield of the mind at that point. Right, and from the battlefield of the mind, you know, that's when you start getting them clowns flipping out into the open, thinking that they masterminds and they really just deceiving the people with flashy minds. Just because a motherfucker got pretty words, can talk loud, fast, hit you in the stomach with his words with an emotional fervor. Don't mean that motherfucker no goddamn shit about what he talking about. And how you know is they'll start trying to not talk bad about the motherfucker telling the truth, but they'll try to ignore it or shy away from it, evade the answer to the question of who this motherfucker is. They don't want to talk about that shit. Because now they know they going to have to bow down to something Greater than that bullshit they've been motherfuckers' feelings be really hurt at who you find out been knew they was lying when they was telling that goddamn lie that they told when they lied about the bullshit.